This is the Music History Today podcast for July 31st. On today's show, Elvis starts his Vegas era, a classical composing great passes away, and a fight breaks up the Eagles, at least until hell froze over. First up, though, on this date in 1846, the French army added the saxophone to its marching band, which gave credit to the new instrument. Little street cred, you might say. In 1942, Harry James recorded the song, I've Heard That Song Before. Well, if you did, you wouldn't have recorded it for the first time. Anywho, in 1948, two brothers charted in the top 10 on the R&B singles chart in the exact same week with different songs that were on different record labels. Jimmy Liggins hit number 7 with the Teardrops Blues, while his brother Joe Liggins hit number 9 with the song Drippers Blues. In 1951, Ray Charles married his wife Eileen Williams. In 1954, entertainer extraordinaire Mr. Steve Allen married actress Jane Meadows. In 1964, a riot during a Rolling Stones concert ended the concert in less than 15 minutes. In 1965, the Four Tops recorded the song, It's the Same Old Song. In 1967, Janis Joplin performed at a benefit concert for the Free Clinic. Also performing at the benefit were the groups Blue Cheer and the American band The Charlatans. Fun fact, comedian and TV star Bill Cosby played drums for The Charlatans that night. Yeah, that Bill Cosby, the sexual you know what let's let's not get into that part of his thing anyway in 1969 elvis presley began the vegas elvis era when he started performing at the international hotel in 1976 natalie cole married manager marvin yancey in 1977 the starland vocal band tv variety show premiered in 1980, the Eagles broke up after a fight between Glenn Fry and Don Felder. Hell then froze over 20 years later and the group got back together. Also in 1980, John Phillips of the Mamas and the Papas was arrested for running a prescription scam. He was sentenced to eight years in jail but only served 30 days. In 1985, Robin Gibb of the Bee Gees married author Dwina Murphy. In 1993, Dickie Betts of the Allman Brothers Band shoved two cops and was arrested because of it. In 2010, Alicia Keys married Swizz Beats. In 2012, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band played for what was at the time their longest concert at four hours and six minutes. The concert was in Finland. In 2018, Rihanna became the first black woman to be on the cover of British Vogue magazine. And in 2019, the Woodstock 50 concert, which was supposed to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the original Woodstock Festival, was canceled due to legal problems. In classical music in 1786, lyricist Robert Burns released his poetry book, Poems, chiefly in the Scottish dialect. In theater in 1948, the musical Brigadoon closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on July 31st in 1995, Jamaica released commemorative stamps honoring Bob Marley, and in 2016, Justin Timberlake won the Decade Awards at the Nickelodeon Teen Choice Awards. Albums that were released on July 31st include in 1967 when the Rascals released Groovin'. In 1981, Eddie Rabbit released Step by Step. In 1991, Fugazi released Steady Diet of Nothing. In 2000, Ronan Keating released Ronan. In 2001, Judas Priest released Demolition, and the Little River Band released Where We Started From. In 2006, Rory Gallagher released Rory Gallagher Live at Montreux. In 2007, the Little River Band released Forever Gold, and the Dave Matthews Band released Live Tracks. In 2012, Fish released Chicago 94, and in 2015, Tony Banks of Genesis released Accord Too Far. Singles that were released in the UK on July 31st include in 1964 when Scylla Black released It's For You. In 1970, The Supremes released Everybody's Got the Right to Love. In 1981, George Harrison released Teardrops, and in 1989, Tom Petty released Running Down a Dream. 
Meanwhile, in America, in 1964, Martha and the Mandelas released Dancing in the Street, another classic anthem. In 1968, Iron Butterfly released In a Gata da Vida. In 1969, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap released This Girl is a Woman Now. In 1972, Neil Diamond released Play Me, Michael Martin Murphy released Geronimo's Cadillac, and Elton John released Honky Cat. In 1973, Joe Walsh released Rocky Mountain Way, another classic. In 1976, Chicago released If You Leave Me Now. In 1977, Meatloaf released Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, and Kiss did a twofer. They released Hooligan and Love Gun. In 1978, Aerosmith released Come Together and Bob Dylan released Baby Stop Crying. In 1985, Madonna released Dress You Up off the Like a Virgin album. And in 1986, Bon Jovi released You Give Love a Bad Name. And in 2015, Drake whined about someone calling his cell phone every time she wanted his love, otherwise known as the song Hotline Bling. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 31st include rapper Lil Uzi Vert, DJ Fatboy Slim, a.k.a. Norman Cook, who was originally the bassist for the group The House Martins, Bill Berry of R.E.M., Will Champion of Coldplay, DJ Kavinsky, guitarist John Five of David Lee Roth's band, and also of the group Marilyn Manson, Hugh McDowell of Electric Light Orchestra, or ELO if you will, Carl Green of Herman's Hermits, Gary Lewis of Gary Lewis and the Playboys, singer-songwriter Lobo, Daniel Ash of Bauhaus, and also the group Love and Rockets, singer Daniel Boone, former president of Atlantic Records, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Amit Erdogan, jazz pianist Hank Jones, guitarist Stanley Jordan, Jim Corr of the group The Corrs, Zach Brown of the group The Zach Brown Band, Jazz guitarist Kenny Barrell, singer Russell Morris, Phil McCormack of Molly Hatchet, Denise Johnson of Primal Scream, violinist George Liberace, country music singer Bonnie Brown of the group The Browns, Malcolm Ross of Aztec Camera, Matthew Shadows of Avenged Sevenfold, singer Angelica Hale, rapper Cap G, Alyssa White Glues of Arch Enemy, Singer and band leader Roy Milton, drummer Fuzz Townsend of Pop Will Eat Itself, and also the group Bentley Rhythm Ace, salsa musician Jerry Rivera, and saxophonist Bajarn Arnuf Nerim. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 31st include composer Johann Christian Frischmuth, who passed away in 1790 at the age of 48. Composing great Franz Liszt passed away in 1886 at the age of 74. Composer Francesco Neglia passed away in 1932 at the age of 58. Composer Carl Haas passed away in 1960 at the age of 77. Country music singer Jim Reeves passed away in an airplane crash in 1964 at the age of 39. Pianist Bud Powell passed away in 1966 at the age of 41. Composer Marios Varvoglis passed away in 1967 at the age of 81. Saxophonist Booker Irvin passed away from kidney disease in 1970 at the age of 39. The orchestra leader for the Gulf Road Show with Bob Smith Television Show, Mr. Enoch Light, passed away in 1978 at the age of 70. 
Broadway musical singer Bobby Van passed away from cancer in 1980 at the age of 49. Singer Mohammed Rafi passed away in 1980 at the age of 55. Composer Paul de Flem passed away in 1984 at the age of 103. Jazz pianist Teddy Wilson passed away in 1986 at the age of 73. Rob Jones of the group The Wonder Stuff passed away in 1993 at the age of 29. Singer for the Glenn Miller Band, Ann Shelton, passed away in 1994 at the age of 66. Rapper Seagram Miller passed away in 1996 at the age of 26. Pianist Barbara Garana passed away in 1998 at the age of 98. Conductor Mitch Miller passed away in 2010 at the age of 99. Singer-songwriter Bobby Edwards passed away in 2012 at the age of 86. Tony Sly of the group No Use for a Name passed away in 2012 at the age of 41. Singer Mike Mohid passed away in 2016 at the age of 32. Jazz guitarist Chuck Loeb passed away in 2017 at the age of 61. Singer-songwriter and guitarist Paul Cotton of the group Poco passed away in 2021 at the age of 78. And singer and actor Alvin Ng passed away from COVID-19 in 2021 at the age of 89. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 1st, when in 1981, video killed the radio star when MTV was born. Thank you very, very much for listening if you're listening on the podcast or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcast from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching.